Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Simple Talk. Today, we are chatting with Anna, the owner of Fearless Wellness Center. Good morning, Anna. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? I'm pretty great. So let's just jump right in and tell us uh, all about your journey and why you decided to become an entrepreneur. So I feel like my journey started such a long time ago, like most of us, um, probably when I was a little kid. Um, so through my high school, all of that, I was actually an entrepreneur back then. Um, so I used to teach dance and, and music um, all through high school. Um, and so being an entrepreneur, setting my own hours and, and doing all the pay and all that kind of stuff was something that was really exciting to me, even back then. Um, flash forward like a decade. Oh my God, a whole decade, right? <laughs> um, and uh, after having my children, uh, I decided it was time to go back into the workforce. Um, and so my background is in public health and public health education, but my passion has always been uh, working in fertility and, and maternal care um, and, and with infants. Um, and so I, I started going down that path um, and getting more schooling down uh, in those areas. Um, and then I was practicing somewhere and then the pandemic hit um, and they closed. Um, and so I was like, okay, so now what? Um, you know, I just started coming back and, and now we've got this huge curveball. Um, and so lo and behold, um, that kind of made up in my mind and made the decision that Fearless was going to be a thing. Um, and so I opened um, in August of 2020. So right, 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 right girl. in the... <laughs> In the thick of things, I think uh, I was probably a little bit crazy looking for rental spaces and stuff like that at the time when most people were just like leaving it all. Um, but it was kind of nice. I just had a lot to choose from. Um, and uh, now we're here in downtown Trenton. Um, it's been what, a year and a half, almost two years now. Um, our team has grown um, exponentially and we're continuously growing. Um, and so we're so excited to be here. Awesome. Can you tell us like a, a few of the things that you do there? Yeah. So I'm a certified reflexologist and a Reiki master, as well as a full spectrum doula. So I work with families through fertility, pregnancy, and the postpartum period, as well as, uh, through loss and in, so pregnancy and infant loss. Um, we have two counselors here. Um, so we have Julie, um, and we just welcomed a second counselor, Valerie, um, but he is bilingual, which is super, super exciting to me um, because I am also bilingual. Um, so being able to offer bilingual services to our area um, kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, so we're super excited to welcome her. Uh, we have another doula as well. Uh, her name is Jenna. And then we also have a lovely RMT, um, Ronalyn. Oh, awesome. RMT, I like songs. Yes. <laughs> right? I, and, and she is, I mean, yes, I probably have a bit of a biased opinion, but she is such a good massage therapist. I like going for a massage when I come out and feel a little sore and know that tomorrow is going to be so much better. She really knows how to get in there. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so one piece of advice you wish you had before you started. I think one piece of advice that I wish I would have had before I started was I wouldn't know all the answers. Um, I find that you, you before you want to take that leap and that jump, you're like, I need to have all my ducks in a row um, and everything has to be like 100% perfect. And there is no such thing. Mm -hmm. um, regardless of how well prepared you think you really are, you're gonna lose a duck and one's gonna <laughs> decide to go somewhere else. Um, and so sometimes I feel like I, I held back a little bit because I was afraid to jump, um, mm -hmm. and make those decisions because I didn't have everything all set up, but now a little bit later, th there's no such thing. And you're going to skin your knees and get back up and keep going. Yep. Failure is how you learn, right? Exactly. Yep. So any tips or pointers you have for other entrepreneurs? Um, I think having, uh, keeping some mindfulness is really, really important. Um, really, uh, and I hate to say it this way, but scheduling time where you're off 
um, and away and, and having time with family and those kinds of things, because it can be so easy to, well, I, I'm new at this and I need to get all these things done because, you know, the business depends on me. Um, and, and there's 80 hours in a week and you saw your kids for a little bit. Um, so it's really important to, to have that mindfulness, but also to get help and support soon. Don't wait. Um, I think investing into some things like marketing or things, things that you don't like. So having someone come clean the office, yeah. um, it seems like such a silly thing, um, but it's so nice to be come in and not be the one who had to do all the garbages and sweep all the floors and things like that. So yeah. Take getting that, those that weight all off. little things of help ahead of time and as soon as you can is really important. Yeah. I think, I think the, the mindfulness is, is great because like, you know, you schedule your meetings day in and day out. Why wouldn't you schedule time with your family or time to work out or time to just sit? <laughs> exactly. And, 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 and the thing is, is you're going to find yourself even having those blank spaces. You're going to end up filling them sometimes with work unless you physically um, schedule something into your schedule. Be like, no, <laughs> not at this time. Yeah. Um, this is I, found, I, I found myself having days where I wouldn't schedule anything on those days and say, those are my days off. But ultimately, because my schedule was empty, then I would schedule things in any ways. I feel that. <laughs> Well, it's been so great chatting with you. Thanks so much for coming on today. And uh, yeah, we will uh, put all her links in the show notes so everybody can check her out. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for being with us today, Anna. No problem. It was lovely talking with you. Thank you.